On August 22, 2022, Zoom have released their new version 5.11.9. Among the various bug fixes and new features, there is one that is really interesting, and that is broadcast mic audio to all breakout rooms. The meeting hosts can now broadcast their microphone audio to all breakout rooms in a meeting. Earlier this year, Zoom had released a version where it was possible to share the desktop audio from the main to the breakout rooms, but sharing the microphone was not possible. But today it's here. Let's now go see how it works. But make sure you watch the video till the end, because there are a couple of important things that you have to pay attention to. The first thing to do is to update Zoom to the latest version. When you open the desktop client, you should see a message saying a new version of Zoom is available and you can click on update now. If you're not seeing this and want to check which version you have, then go to your profile icon, click on help, then about Zoom and then check your version number. The share microphone to breakout rooms feature is enabled from version 5.11.9. Click on install and you're good to go. Okay, now that we've updated Zoom, let's open a new meeting. I'm launching the meeting as a host from the MacBook Pro desktop client. And from the same MacBook Pro, I'm also joining as a guest. To do that, I'll access the meeting from the web client. Let's copy the meeting link, open a new browser window and paste the URL. And here I will insert a new name for the new participant. I'll call it Enrico Browser. And here I am. Okay, let's now create a breakout room. As usual, let's go to the breakout room icon. Here, when I tried it, I already created one. So let me now recreate and assign automatically. And now open all rooms. Moving on to the web session, I'll accept the invite. Now I'm alone as a host in the main room and the other participant is in the breakout room. So now let's click on breakout rooms again. And here at the bottom, you see a button that says Broadcast. This was already present in the previous version of Zoom, but if you click on it, now two options will appear. And the Broadcast Voice option is a new one. So let's click on Broadcast Voice, and now another new button appears. By clicking it, you will start broadcasting your voice to all rooms. Now I'm currently broadcasting to all rooms, and this waveform is confirming that. So how does it look on the participant side? Let's go again to breakout rooms, click on broadcast, and then broadcast voice. As soon as we click on this button, a message will appear. Let's do it again. Enrico Zamparo, the host, is broadcasting. As soon as this message is gone, we can still know that there is voice coming from the main room, the breakout room, because this icon here is active. As soon as I click on this button again, the icon will be removed. So what is the evolution of this feature that we can expect? Well, maybe it would be nice to be able to share audio from the main room to a specific breakout room. And why not maybe have a two-way communication with that breakout room? So allowing the breakout room participants to respond back to the host in the main room. Will Zoom release these features in the future? If they do, I will release an immediate video on this channel. So if you're finding this video useful and want to stay up to date with all new Zoom releases, please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button so more people will have the chance to watch the video. Thank you. Great, but does this work in any case? Well, the first particular case is when the host has updated the Zoom version, whereas the participants have not. I'm now joining from a PC where I have not updated to the latest Zoom version and put it in a breakout room. And let's now try to broadcast audio. If I click on the button, nothing appears. Whereas if I go to the other participants, I still see the icon. The other special case is when participants are joining from mobile. I'll connect with my iPhone. Okay, if I now broadcast the audio to breakout rooms, there is no sign that audio is coming through. So it looks like that also for mobile users, this feature is not available. If you're experiencing something different, please let me know in the comments below. Okay, the feature is great, but how can we use it? There are a couple of use cases that I can think of. For example, you can share the instructions to an activity in the plenary room, then send people to the breakout rooms, and when they are there, do a little refresh, or maybe remind them what is the first step of the activity so they have a good start. When they are halfway through the activity, you can share your voice to let them know where they stand. And the same, towards the end, you can suggest them to wrap up. And if someone has a question from a certain breakout room and you think that that answer could be useful to all participants, 
then you can share it with your voice to all breakout rooms. Now, sending audio to breakout rooms is great, but I think that it's even better if you combine it with screen share and using the Zoom whiteboard. Altogether, these features take your breakout room activities to the next level. In particular, the new Zoom whiteboard is a really nice and useful tool that is getting lots of updates one after the other. So you should definitely check this next video here.